Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Krebs. I'm a member of Miami Valley Cardiologists and Director of Cardiac Electrophysiology at Miami Valley Hospital. A carter defibrillator is a uh, relatively small device uh, shaped about this size here that's implanted under the skin uh, and has some wires that go down to the heart that are placed inside the heart through a vein up underneath the collarbone. And the defibrillator monitors the heart and is used to detect and treat dangerous life-threatening heart rhythms. Defibrillators stop dangerous heart rhythms by providing shocks to the heart to terminate the rhythm or by doing some fast, fancy pacing to stop the dangerous heart rhythm. They've been an excellent means of improving survival in individuals at high risk for dangerous heart rhythms. Placement of a defibrillator is a surgical procedure that involves making an incision under the collarbone. It's done under anesthesia, either general or at least deep sedation. And in general, uh, folks do not experience much in the way of pain during the procedure whatsoever. Afterwards, there may be some minimal pain, typically treated with Tylenol or uh, something along the lines of Motrin. Pacemakers run on batteries that are lithium-based, and the typical battery life for a defibrillator is before, between four to seven years. The battery life varies depending on how much pacing the pa defibrillator does and how many times the defibrillator has to treat a dangerous or life-threatening heart rhythm. Defibrillators interact with very few household appliances. Uh, typically, uh, appliances that emit strong magnetic fields can be problems, and typical things along this line would include uh, chainsaws uh, and arc welding. Typical things like a microwave or other household appliances really are no problem. Uh, defibrillators uh, do respond to magnetic fields, and as such, when you go through a metal detector at an airport, you may set off an alarm if you have a defibrillator, and typically you'll, you'll have a uh, card that identifies a defibrillator that you would show the individuals doing security at the airport, and they know how to direct things from there. Uh, MRI scans are also problems with defibrillators due to a large magnetic field, and you would not be able to have an MRI scan after placement of a defibrillator. Complications surrounding placement of defibrillator are, are few and far between. Uh, typically, patients are observed overnight in the hospital after placement of a new defibrillator. Uh, the risks involved in it, though, include things like bleeding, blood clots, damage to blood vessels, nicking a lung, having it deflate, infection, poking a hole in the heart, strokes, heart attacks, death. Again, the risks of this type of thing are exceedingly rare, and the main reason these are put in to prevent many of these problems.